Hey everyone, on this cold and blustery Wednesday, it is uh, fantastic to uh, see you. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, looking forward to uh, Saturday's Trunk or Treat. We're going to start set up at 5 o'clock in the evening and then uh, give out candy from about 6 to 8. Um, it'll be a great evening if it is raining. Um, we are going, we have no backup plan, so, uh, so, uh, just plan on staying home or coming out and getting really wet. So that is kind of what, uh, what we're doing. Um, hope you are, uh, um, if you were able to be a part, hope you were looking forward to that. Hope you were praying that we will be able to make some great relationships during that time. Um, if you are going to stay home and give out candy, it's a great time to, love on your neighbors and uh, and build some relationships. Let's look at Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Chapter 10 um, of Ecclesiastes has a number of proverbs. Proverbs are general truths that uh, that point to uh, to the idea of the way the world works. If this happens, if A happens, then B happens. If you know A um, if, if a person behaves this way, then this is what um, generally happens. They're not all the way, all the time, um, forever truths. But in general, that's the way the world works. Um, in biblical Proverbs, the ultimate truth is the way of the Lord. The ultimate truth is the way of the Lord, the ways of God, how God would have us do things. Um, and we see that over and over, um, how to focus and how to function in the uh, God's um, umbrella of provision and protection. And in chapter 11 of Ecclesiastes, we see a similar theme. Um, again, I want to remind you to always look at this God-entranced vision in Ecclesiastes. That we may have one vision, but God has the ultimate truth. He knows the right, the straight, the, uh, the direct path, as it were, um, to the way the world truly works. In Ecclesiastes chapter 11, it says this, Beginning in verse 1, cast your bread upon the waters, for you will find it after many days. Give a portion to seven or even to eight, for you know not what disaster may happen on earth. If the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves on the earth. And if a tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where the tree falls, there it will lie. He who observes the wind will not sow, and he who regards the clouds will not reap. As you do not know the way the Spirit comes to the bones in the womb of a woman with child, so you do not know the work of God who makes everything. That beginning section um, speaks to really just the way the world is. There are things that you and I do not know. Um, we don't know how everything in the world works. We don't even know why certain things happen. But the writer of Ecclesiastes, the preacher Solomon, in verse 5, he begins to point to who does. Again, it's a similar thing as we've looked at. As you do not know the way that the Spirit comes to the bones in the womb of a woman with child, so you do not know the work of God who makes everything. We don't know how or why or what God does, but He does.
does. Verse 6, we continue. In the morning sow your seed, and at evening withhold not your hand, for you do not know which will prosper, this or that, whether both alike, or whether both are like, alike will be good. If you and I are always waiting to figure out just the perfect time, here, speaking of agriculture, if the farmer waits for just the perfect time to sow a seed, to plant a seed, whether too much rain or not enough rain or too much wind or not enough wind or the perfect um, soil or... um, any number of reasons he will never ever plant a crop and therefore never reap the crop at some point we must put our trust in God You, know, you and I can can spend all of our time putting all of our trust in things, in other people, um, in certain situations and careers and whatever it might be. And those things will ultimately let us down. But God is the one who will never let us down and who fully understands all of his creation. And so we, you and I, can fully trust in him. And you know, that really does speak to today, doesn't it? There's been so many things um, over uh, during 2020 um, that have happened. I am always smile about once a week I walk over at least once a week I walk over into our main church building and I look around make sure everything is okay I check to make sure there's no leaks anywhere and things like that and I was walked by one of the stands that we have left the bulletins from March 15 of earlier this year now that is the last time that we met in our auditorium with everyone together this year And to be quite honest, it's been a tough year. Um, There's been a lot of things that we've done well, and there's been a lot of things maybe we could have done better. There's been people that have been really pleased and people that are not pleased. Um, But you know who understands why all of this is happening? God does. And what is our call in the midst of this? To live as people who trust God. To live as people who honor His name. To live as people who love one another. To live as people called Christians because we follow God and we know that our only Savior is Jesus Christ. Now that's the call today. So let's live that way. Go to it. God bless you. We'll see you Maybe Saturday, and definitely see you Sunday. God bless you. Have a great week. Bye-bye.